well, hold on. This is a human being. It's a machine consisted of multiple, multiple body systems. And we to optimize all of them, we need to take in consideration every component to fully optimize the human body. And to me, I call that a holistic health practitioner. I mean, I think that's what you are and I'm aspiring to be. Um, I don't know my point of bringing it up now anymore and what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, look, look, I understand where you're going where, where you're going, and it's it's one thing that I'm really trying to get across to strength and conditioning coaches, performance coaches, but just, you know, personal trainers is that it's there, there's this sort of approach that like, sort of stay in your lane. Yeah? Um, what do you and, think about that? Yeah, and look, I understand where people are coming from, okay? But when you're dealing with the human body, okay? And you're not actually understanding the ramifications of when people have digestive complications. You're not understanding the ramifications of when there's hormonal imbalance and neurotransmitters. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not asking personal trainers and strength and conditioning coaches to go heal people from p- particular diseases. Yeah, okay. But there's there's an aspect where I was confronted with a, with a question once where someone says, well, it's negligence. Yeah, okay, for a personal trainer to start to tap into these realms. I don't 100% agree. And the reason I don't 100% agree is it's ne- it, yes, there's negligence there if they start tapping into that realms and then they start using specialized herbs and so forth to try and rectify their clients' problems. Okay, but if they're understanding that realms and that allows them to understand what training mechanisms are going to work better for that individual. That's what I'm really trying to set out for personal trainers and strength and conditioning coaches to understand. Because you can read things like blood markers and you can understand people's like gastrointestinal problems. And that allows you to understand what type of training regimes are going to be better for them. The question that I need to ask people is what's greater negligence when you're dealing with the human body? Yeah, okay. Is there a greater negligence to completely ignore those factors? Yeah, okay. And then just give whatever you yeah. whatever you were taught at university yeah. or whatever you were taught by your mentors and so forth and just give them particular training regimes okay that ultimately because of the problems that they have could actually lead them even closer to disease mm-hmm. okay and actually cause more stress related issues cause more digestive complications is that negligence okay or is what other people were saying is negligence. If I understand these these complications and that allows me to better periodize and, and, and have better application of even exercise selection and better application of energy systems p- through particular time frames, which one is negligence? Okay, that's, that's the question that needs to be asked because for me, the, my answer is very simple. If I'm going blindly into things and just recommending particular programs and training regimes just based on what I think should work, okay, and what I was taught through a particular framework, for me, when I'm dealing with someone who's got these serious health complications, that's negligence. Ignorance yeah, is not yeah, bliss yeah. in this situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think yeah. That, that's that's such a great point um, you just made. I think that answers it. Yeah. I mean, and that, and that's, and that's, the, you know, in a, in a lot of the stuff that I'm teaching trainers is not about trying to treat disease. It's not. It's it's like getting them to put more safeguard, you know, um, protocols in place that are really going to assist the individual. Yeah. Okay. Um, rather than just randomly, you know. You know picking something because they heard it was good yeah okay or using things like estrogen clearers just because that you know they want to try and have maybe a, a you know a better result from a body composition perspective with a particular individual without actually understanding the ramifications of what those estrogen clearers might be doing to that particular individual yeah okay randomly just using high dosages of amino acids based on someone told them that that was a good thing to do yeah okay like and i'm not i'm not you know i'm not dismissing the benefits of amino acids but i'm just saying it's the principle of blindly applying things yeah blindly applying things just based on you know social media or what someone else told you down the street or you know like like what i'm saying is that 
once you start to understand really how that individual is functioning and really what's going on with them internally with their biochemistry their microbiome it allows you to truly understand what safeguard measures you can put in place and more importantly what training regimes you can put in place that's not going to make that individual go backwards okay and and more importantly it's not going to uh you know massively negatively affect their their health even more 